What's going on guys? Jim the Game Guru, your board game and video game nerd. I have done it. I have the most gorgeous version of Talisman the Game. Dun 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 dun. It is Kingdom Hearts. Talisman. I absolutely love how gorgeous this is. Look at the back of that. Yes, Talisman. Kingdom Hearts version. Now, I'm going to be absolutely honest. I do not care for Talisman that much as a game. And mainly because in competitive, it's just too much luck. There's a lot of luck with dice chucking in this game for every action you do. But for a com for like a casual play with a family or even a, you know, a bunch of board game nerds that are not really into a, a competitive mood and you just want to play casually, Talisman is perfectly fine. And this version right here, I remember seeing this version in one of the game shows that I went to, one of the expos. And it was probably like a hundred bucks when I went there. And Amazon, I think, had it for cheaper for about $70 or so. And then finally, Amazon dropped it to $50. And I'm like, you know what? I have to do it. I gotta. I just gotta do it. So I am going to go ahead and do an unboxing of this and show you guys the components of it. Absolutely gorgeous. I and mean, you can see just from the box alone right now on how it looks um, that it is just, it's killer. It's killer. And... Um, I'm not going to go too much into the gameplay of it. It's very, very simple. I'll, I'll, I'll do a quick overview of like, okay, you know, this is where you put your pawns and this is kind of what happens in the game. But, uh, but other than that, yeah, let's just take a look at the components. If you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Your, subs your subscriptions help small YouTubers like me grow. And I'm super excited to open this up and show you guys what's in the box. Let's move to it. All right, let's dig into this awesomeness. I have no idea why I'm in such a singing mood today. But here we go, Talisman Kingdom Hearts. Take a look again one more time at this outside of the box. So, so beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's great. Okay, I'm wondering if I should move my camera up just a tad. Just a tad. Let's see if I can get it up just a tad there, just like that. Yeah, get this crap out of the way. You guys want to see Marvel Splendor? Nah, we're not, we'll get that out of there. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's better. Okay, so let's open it up. Let's crack this. This is for players 13 and up. And you can play from two to six players, in case you guys are wondering. Let's look at this beautiful manual. Let's put this aside just a little bit so we can take a look at the manual. Oh, yeah. I just love, absolutely love that artwork there. I know it's the same as it is on the box, but magazine, quality, manual. It is, I mean, it's beautiful. It's easy to read. Everything is really easy to read. And the print is phenomenal. There we go. It goes into some character cards, health, character setup, game setup with a lot of the stuff for the board. Game turns, how each round resolving combat. Combat example, followers, etc. A lot of cool things. Yeah. Yep. Great quality. Great quality. Okay, so here's a lot of the... Um, this looks like it's, it's like health dials. Yeah, these are the health dials for your characters. So all you gotta do is just pop these out and then snap them together with the um, with these little dial pieces. And then it keeps track of your strength, magic, and health right there. Bring that up. See, strength, magic, and health. There you go. Okay. And then there's these. I have no idea what these are. 
They almost look like little charms. But I really don't have any idea what those are in these. I know in, in Talon's Man, uh, a lot of times there are, um, they're like weapons and items and stuff you collect along the way that you get in the cards. But I'm not sure what those cutouts will actually give you. And here's the board. Let's take a look at the board. Uh, before I get to the board though, look just really quick in the box, you can see all the miniatures and here's some of the cards. I'm gonna get to the cards and the miniatures in a second. I just wanna open up this board. Now here's the die for this game. So all these dice that you can get. And this is what controls a lot of your combat engagements, a lot of your movement, etc. Everything revolves around dice. And the really cool thing is with this dice is that the I think the number one is a crown. Yeah, so and all these dice feel really good. They're like, they look nice too. They're sharp looking. But you can see right there, number one's got like a crown on it. I like that a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and... And then you have like these little gem tokens inside of here. And then these are your like your, your dial pieces that you use to click and put the dials together. Let's, before I get into some of these cards and stuff, let's just open up the game board. Because I want to show you guys game board this is when I, when I saw this at the expo it was all set up they had like the game board out they had all the pieces out and it just looked phenomenal I almost pulled the trigger then but I was like N I'm like a hundred dollars and like no oh man I better move this out I'm like a hundred bucks there's no way I, I, I'm, I'm like I'll wait till the price goes down Here we go. The board is massive. Man, as you can see, look how massive the board is. It's huge. And I don't even think I can get it all on the... Yeah, I, I really can't. All on the camera. But what happens in Talisman is that you have this outside of the board, right around here. And a lot of your pieces, your pawns, and you get these characters, like your little statuettes, Miniatures will usually start off on the outside of the board somewhere and there's a starting point I can't remember the starting point is in talisman um, But they'll usually start off on the outside. Let me see if I can get this up a little higher too. They'll usually start off at the um, Somewhere on the outside of the board and then what you do in talisman is you'll end up moving around the board and going to different places based on your die roll and then when you go to a certain place, you'll have like either an, a, an encounter with a player that's already in, in, at that spot, or you might have an encounter with a creature that's already there, or in a, there might be an event that actually causes you to draw out a creature or something that you need to engage, or maybe some other type of event that if you roll a one, then something happens, or if you were a roll a two, something else happens. And what happens is, you go around this board, this outside of this board, right? And you keep going back and forth and encountering different things and people. And you eventually build up your character. And you'll build them up, you'll beef them up to make them strong enough to then eventually at one of these points get into more of the center area of the board. So you're on the outside going around, you beef up your character, and then you go into the center, right? You go into like the center ring portion. And then you go around here and then you make you you meet certain conditions, you beef up your character, and then you'll get into this center section. And then usually at the center section, you it's like you have to go through like trial of fire, basically. You'll have to go through all these series of trials around until you end up getting to the very center of the board, which will win you the game. That is basically how Talisman is played. Um, I know I'm oversimplifying it, um, but in a nutshell, that's kind of the general way of playing it. And you have to, there's a lot of luck in this game. And like I said before, that the randomization is something I didn't really like, but there's a lot of luck in this game that it's, if you, if you roll phenomenal out here, and then you get into the center part here, and you, you start having shit rolls, then somebody else who was rolling bad before can come into the center eventually and then roll phenomenally in the center and win. 
It's just um, it's just one of those type of games. Uh, but see, you can see how colorful and vibrant the board is. I mean, it's it's freaking gorgeous. I mean, it's 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 orgasmic to look at it. Um, the, your little miniaturettes are really really cool too. So let's go into some of these other components in here. I already showed you the dice that are freaking. They just they're beautiful. They look beautiful. They feel great. Let's go into some of these uh, cards here and these miniaturettes. Uh, let me go ahead and open up this. All right, so here we go with the character cards. Now, this is obviously Kingdom um, Kingdom Hearts is based on a lot of the video game stuff. And it's in collaboration with a lot of Disney characters. So here are the characters here. We got Terra. Look how cool that looks. Sora. Heartless. Donald. Zion, Aqua, Aku. Uh, we got another one with Heartless. I don't know why we have two. What's up with that? Goofy. And then we have Mulan. I love that Mulan one. That's cool. I think I know what's going on with Heartless. Heartless is like, it looks like it's a transformation of your character. So it says it right here, it says, you are now heartless for three turns. So it looks like you have a, you can have a status change on your character. We got Carrie, another heartless, and then King Mickey, and then Ventus. Really cool. And then each one of these characters in here, you, they'll actually have a statuette, little miniature, Kind of representing them. Really neat. And the, the, these miniatures feel good. They feel a little light, but they do feel good. I wish they were. I kind of wish they were a little more. Little, they were a little heavier. I think like like the ones in the in in the Doom game. I think those ones felt really heavy and solid, which are really cool. And we got Mickey and Sora there. And then we got what? I've already showed you this one, Donald. Some of the other characters here. And then let's go into the final three characters for the statuettes here. Let's see what we have Mulan and Goofy and some other ones here. There we go, we got Goofy there. And then finish it off here with uh, some Mulan. Really, really cool. I actually love that. Um, let's see what we got here. So those are those. Let's get into the cards. I'm gonna show you some of these cards here really fast. All right, so these cards, they, um, they've got great print on them. And I, I like the way they feel. Like even the artwork on the back is pretty nice. Really cool. So it looks like we got what? Some armor here. Got a bunch of armor. Uh, accessory slot pack. So these are all things that, that are key to kind of upgrading your character. Keyblade. Different type of keyblades. Fire. Thunder. I guess it's kind of magic or something. Yeah, these are all your magic stuff. Gravity, Blizzard Spell, Reflect, MP Haste. So yeah, so whenever you're, you're casting your magic, these are those are some of the cards you can get for that. And as you go through and you upgrade your character, you'll end up finding certain things like armor and spells and stuff that will uh, will upgrade them. So looks like these are enemies. So we got Dark Side Heartless, Invisible Heartless. What else? Red Nocturne, Turn, uh, Blue Rhapsody, Yellow. What is that? Yellow Opera. Green at Requiem, bunch of objects you can collect. Well, this is like money, it says money, M-U-N-N-Y. Exchange immediately for one crystal and then place this on the discard pile, okay? Double money, gummy shop, dream sword, dream shield. Really cool. I mean, the print is top notch. 
I really like the print on this. Cards are the thinner cards, like as far as the width of the cards. I've noticed that more and more and more on a lot of games. They seem to stay with the regular height, but the width of the cards are actually thinner than your regular style cards that you play with. I think it's starting to become more and more of a common thing lately with a lot of the games that I've been opening. And here we go, we got some followers, Chip and Dale, Huey, Dewey, Louie, Mushu, Tinkerbell, Simba, Dumbo, Bambi, Dalmatian puppies. Let's get treasure chests. Really cool. Phil, per Perdita and Pongo, I guess that's from 100 Dalmatians. Genie, White Mushroom, Flora Fauna, Meriwether. These are the, the, I think those are the ones from Cinderella, aren't they? The fairies from Cinderella? I can't remember. Or maybe not. I don't know. They're in one of those Disney movies. Merlin, Maleficent, Oogie Boogie <laughs> from Nightmare Christmas. All right. All these cool characters and villains. Like, oh, these are all like these events now. We got Ariel events. Meat. And all these Heartless stuff. Soldier Heartless. Yeah, no, these cards feel fantastic. Really like the way those feel. Um, but yeah, but that's pretty much everything in the game. I don't think there's anything underneath here right now. There's nothing, nothing underneath. You just have your cutout here for your miniatures. You have your character cards that go up here with their status effects that they change. You have all the cards in the game, the events, the armor, uh, followers, enemies, etc. And a lot of times in this game, when you get when you when you encounter certain enemies or something, they will end up. If you can't defeat them, they'll end up staying on one of the squares on the board until later on when somebody else can move there and they can encounter those and try to defeat those. But yeah, this, I mean, it is colorful, vibrant, and it's a fantastic version. I, I feel like it's a fantastic themed version of Talisman. Um, but yeah, this is super, super awesome. And here we go. I'm just going to show you guys the front box again. There we go. Kingdom Hearts version of Talisman. But yeah, I am Jim, the game guru, your board game and video game nerd. And I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please like. And just give you one last beautiful glance at the board of Kingdom Hearts Talisman. And I am out of here. I will catch you guys later on a different video. See you. Bye.